Yeah, very special night tonight in KC, Scotty. They're honoring the centennial of the Negro Leagues. Now, the Royals do celebrate this annually, but the Cardinals will be a part of this celebration for the first time since 2003. Of course, the celebration to raise awareness and funds for the Negro League Baseball Museum there in Kansas City. Now, tonight, the two teams will be wearing their throwback uniforms in honor of their respective Negro League teams, the St. Louis Stars and the Kansas City Monarchs. Now, the Cards are wearing the Stars jerseys from when the team won the Negro League pennant back in 1930. And John Mosellock says, when you walk into the clubhouse and hear the guys talking about what it means to wear it and why, that's what it's all about. And obviously with the Negro League Hall of Fame here in Kansas City, obviously the fact that Kansas City and St. Louis have a unique bond, I think the, the timing of it is, is ideal. And, um, you know, from just my little view, uh, I, I think it's been been something that has moved the needle internally here on, on what people are talking about. I love the fact that um, we get to pay our respects and uh, tip of the hat in a uniform that represents the Negro Leagues and um, very grateful for, for that league. They stood for a lot of things. It's unfortunate it had to exist. You know, we, we look in our current situation of where we are and start to appreciate um, what we can do moving forward for continued equality for, um, for, for the African-American population in our game. Now, I asked Mike Schild if he's had a chance to visit the Negro League Baseball Museum in person. He said, unfortunately, this year on this trip to KC, I had planned on visiting the museum, but then COVID happened. So there's another thing COVID has ruined in the year of 2020, Scotty. But the Royals say they will be auctioning off those game-worn pieces at the end of the game. Of course, all the proceeds going to benefit the museum there in Kansas City. Uh